Kalam was travelling from New Delhi to Newark by Continental Airlines CO083 on the 21st of April. He was accompanied to the aircraft with duty officer of CISF and his personal secretary. At the door of the aircraft, Kalam was asked to remove his shoes by the Continental Airlines security staff. CISF officer told Continental staff Kalam was exempt from checking according to the government rules. But the Continental security in charge insisted that check was required for every passenger. Kalam went through with the security check and boarded the flight. PCAS letter says staff reportedly was rude during Kalam's boarding. The airline stuck to its stand and said, This procedure is followed by all carriers flying to the US from most of the countries in the world and there is no exemption to this rule. We believe that Dr. Kalam was not offended and we would like to thank him again for flying with us. The former president, however, was not as forgiving. His statement released on Tuesday said, What has happened is a fact and there is nothing to comment about now. Aviation Minister Praful Patel has promised action against the airline, including an FIR under Section 11A of the Aircraft Act, which carries a minimum jail sentence of six months and a fine of 10 lakh rupees against the airline. As per the Aircraft Act, we have got certain powers. The directions of the BCAS are mandatory. And in this case, President Kalam is exempt from security check and that act by Continental Airlines is itself a violation of the rules and therefore strict action will be taken in accordance with the law. A case will be filed against the airline. The protocol violation also rocked the parliament. It's an issue which puts the whole nation into shape. Where parties across the political spectrum hit out at Continental Airlines. भारत की भूमि पर भारत के पूर्व राष्ट्रपति के झूठे मोजे उतरवा दिए जाएं सुरक्षा The anger in parliament not just reflecting the popularity of the people's president as Kalam was known in his tenure but also a show of solidarity for one of India's most respected first citizens